Okay, so here's a little proof um, involving similarity and idempotence. So uh, why don't we start off by letting P be an, an invertible matrix of order N to set up the similarity. So, if B is similar to A, what can we say? Beautiful. That means B equals to P inverse times A times P, and that's by definition of similarity. All right, so next up we have if we square both sides, we would get B squared is equal to P inverse times A times P squared. Well, B squared is equal to P inverse times A times P times P inverse times A times P and B squared will be equal to, if we kind of split it up in a different way, we can have our P times P inverse in that middle area. So B squared will be P inverse A, P times P inverse is I N times A P and b squared will be equal to p inverse a squared p. Well, okay, what do we have going on? We've got, we've shown that b squared is also similar, b squared is similar to a squared, but a squared equals what? Good. A squared is equal to A. And what do we know about this statement? If you take a look here, wasn't B equal to that? And we have B squared equal to that? So what must be true? Awesome. B must equal to B squared. And this one was because from this step to this step, we, it was because A is idempotent. And we're done. All right, have a wonderful day, evening, or afternoon.